Uh, this uh, video is uh, live from my tent while uh, I'm hiking the classic Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. I have some downtime and I thought I'd share with you everything that I packed for the Inca Trail. This is the classic Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. This is my third time doing it. Um, I'm gonna start first of all with my day pack. This is uh, the backpack I would carry with me on day hikes every single day. This one is uh, an REI bag, 40 liters, okay? Uh, I think between 30 to 40 liters is ideal so that you have extra space. So I would hike in this every single day. This backpack come with a rain cover, which is actually right here. All right, this is a little bit dirty, but it comes with its own uh, rain cover, which usually fits in this pocket right here. If you don't have a backpack that comes with a rain cover, then you would want to make sure that you have a rain cover to keep your back protected. Very important. Second thing, every day on the Ink Trail, I would fill my water bladder, which is an Osprey 3 liter water bladder. With the way we organize our trekking adventures, you would have access to water at each uh, stop. So for lunch, for example, we don't have to pack water for the whole day, just half day and then refill at lunch and the same thing, dinner and then in the morning for breakfast and refill again at lunch. So usually this is three liter. In the past, I, was, I used to fill it fully, but that makes my backpack so heavy. So I would stick to around no more than two liters in this one. And then I would also uh, bring a water bottle that I can use if I want water with some electrolytes. This is the one that I brought with me. And in the past, when I hiked the Inca Trail first time, second time, I would fill it all the way to the brim. I don't do that anymore, just like half here, so that my backpack stays lightweight. So I have that in my backpack all the time. I also have an emergency first aid kit all the time, every single day, even though the guides have their own and you can get support from your team, but it's important to have yours. I'm gonna link to this one. It has a lot of essentials, you know, just basic essentials on the trail. Uh, in this uh, inner pocket, and this is literally what I packed today. I have an emergency blanket, very important. It actually saved me once on the Inca Trail. It rained so much and I started feeling really cold. My second trek on the Inca Trail, and I use this emergency blanket just to hold the, my body's temperature. And it helped. And here I have like some hair ties. Electrolytes. Mouchoir. I don't know why I have a floss, but I have it. But anyway, these things are not very important. I'm gonna get here. Headlamp. You have to have a headlamp because you just don't know what can, what time you will get to camp. It get dark, especially like right now, the sun sets uh, pretty early. So I have a headlamp and make sure you have extra batteries too. Uh, today, I knew that I was gonna be pretty cold. So I had this um, a head cover. I haven't really used it today. I have wet wipes in this little pouch, just a bunch of uh, medicine. So I have some Tums and I have Advil. I do have stomach issues usually when I'm hiking because we start early in the morning. So my stomach is upset early in the morning. So I have Tums with me, Advil for headaches and pressure from high altitude, hand sanitizer and sunscreen. That was in the pouch as well. Very important to have your sunscreen because you'll have to apply and reapply even if it's... Uh, not sunny outside you have to apply like today for example it was like foggy and rainy and then i got to that women's bath and i can feel like my face is burnt even though i applied sunscreen but i forgot to reapply uh there are some spots on the ink trail by the way like on your way up to that women's bath where you can buy some snacks so earlier today i got myself pringles so this is what i usually have in my backpack you said water uh, first aid kit headlamp super important and then i have an extra layer i always have an extra layer that's uh in case like you know my layer get wet if it's a lot of rain or if i'm feeling cold and then depends on what day of the ink so for example today the second day i had this extra layer and i packed this fleece that i'm wearing because i knew it would get uh, cold in some sections and then underneath this one i was wearing an omni heat layer i'm gonna link it if you guys are interested in that so i packed this one and i wore my hiking pants so in my bag i basically had this layer and then i had a fleece and I also had my rain jacket. I don't want to put it inside the sweat, but I had my rain jacket in my backpack. 
you have to have rain protection protection very important and in addition to my rain jacket because i learned in the past that if there is a lot of rain the rain jacket is not going to be super helpful so i pack a plastic poncho this is something that we give to our travelers who are hiking the Inca Trail. It's very basic plastic poncho, but it covers everything and it works perfect. So it covers your head and then it covers also your backpack because it's pretty wide. So I would wear my backpack and the backpack has a rain cover. And then on top of all of that, I have the poncho covering all of me and then I tie it in the side so that I can use my hands. Super, super helpful, especially for rainy days like today. So I would have that in my backpack and then I would have things like, uh, you know, just if you st stop for a bathroom break, you have some toilet paper or wet wipes and you have hand sanitizer. So I packed, I showed you earlier, hand sanitizer um, and I would have my camera as well as a portable charger. I do take a lot of uh, videos for content and things like that on the trail. So it's important for me to have a portable charger. This is the Anchor 20,000 milliamp. I've used it in many expeditions before. I used it in Kilimanjaro for almost eight days. It worked perfectly fine. So I would have that in my backpack and we talked about water. I think this covers, yeah, so I would have extra batteries as well, like for cameras and GoPro and things like that. But for the most car part, that covers everything that I usually pack with me for day hikes uh, or at least what I packed with me for today. Now I'm going to show you what I'm bringing with me on the Inca Trail on my duffel bag because there is a duffel bag that we would give to the porters and they would carry it throughout the day and when we get to camp uh, around the, uh, towards the end of the day they would give us our duffel bag and the duffel bag will basically have everything that you don't need throughout your day hikes if that makes sense. So I'm going to show you what's in my duffel bag. I forgot to mention uh, chopstick. Very important when you are hiking at high elevation or your lips are gonna get so dry, so it's good to pick a, a good one. This is one that I grabbed from the US. Honestly, it's not the best, but our guides gave us gifts earlier in the trip. <laughs> but I removed the tag, but anyway, so this is a, a local brand. It worked really, really well, but point is, make sure you have chapstick and apply it and reapply it. This is my duffel bag. Okay, so first of all, I'm using the packing cubes even on my duffel bags because it keeps things organized. Um, most important things for me is to have my sleeping system. This is what I would wear every night at camp. So I have uh, base layers, merino wool, it's pretty warm. I have this one right here, a top and then a bottom. They both are super comfortable, super warm. So I would sleep in this every single day on the Inca Trail. And then I would also have a pair of socks. This one that I'm wearing right here. This is just for camp, just for going to bed. I will wear the same uh, pair of socks uh, because it gets pretty warm. And then um, here I pack the layers that I brought on the Inca Trail. So um, just to give you an idea, I have this layer I'm wearing right here. I have a second layer pretty similar this is omni heat layers by colombia i've had this one for a long time and this one i bought uh, from uh, cusco because i felt like i didn't have enough layers they do have uh, two stores they have a patagonia store and a colombia store in the main plaza in cusco so i bought this one from there and then i bought a t-shirt just in case it gets a little bit warmer so that's three layers right three layers and i'm gonna cover the tops i brought this fleece super warm from uh, Cotopaxi got it from REI on sale it's amazing I'm so happy with it and then I also brought a puffy jacket just going over the tops this is a puffy jacket I would wear it also around camp this is this fleece I wore today on the hike but then this one I would wear it around camp so this like if I'm having dinner with the team this is what I would wear things I'm sleeping in and then my uh, puffy jacket okay another top I packed uh, a more lightweight uh, jacket. This is a jacket that I usually wear just around the city in San Francisco, but I really like it. So when we started day one, I had a t-shirt and I had this one. It's pretty comfortable, super lightweight. It's not really warm, so it's more for like day one. One second. Uh, oh, gracias. Por favor. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Mm. 
the guys from our team just stopped by my tent to bring me some warm water. This is some, something that we do for people traveling with us. Just have a bucket of warm water so that you can wash your face and a little towel, which is really nice. Okay, so uh, this covers everything that I packed for the tops, I believe. For the bottoms, for hiking pants, I packed three. I packed this one right here. This is a hiking pants from Prana. I've had it for so many years. I love it so much. I loved it so much that I got another one, blue, um, not too long ago, just specifically for this trek. So I have two Prana hiking pants. They are a little bit thick. So even, you know, they can take a beat and they're super comfortable too. And uh, I got another one that's a bit more uh, lightweight. Yeah, so three uh, hiking pants. Do you really need three? Mm, not really, because people sometimes just wear the same pair of pants for two days. But I'm so happy that I have three on this trip in particular because, um, you know, it rained. So like this one, I know it's getting wet. I'm not going to be able to rewear it. It's not going to dry quick. That's the problem when it rains. You're not going to be able to dry your clothes real quick. And in addition to these three pants, I also brought rain pants, which I haven't used yet. Uh, but I remember last year when I hiked the Ink Trail, I had a super crazy rainy day where I was wearing my rain jacket. It got soaked. My pants got soaked. Everything got soaked. Thank God I had an emergency blanket uh, to keep me warm and protected and covered from the rain. Uh, but since then, I decided I'm going to always bring rain pants for rainy days. Um, I found another layer, a t-shirt. Uh, this is another merino wool t-shirt that I brought with me and I bought it on day one. I wore it on day one as well. Okay, so I think that covers pretty much everything. I got two, I packed the two sports bra. I'm not really wearing a clean one every single day. It's not necessary. And then I have this hat that I bought from Cusco in 2018. Keeps me warm at night or for dinner. And then I obviously pa packed a bunch of uh, underwear and socks for underwear, just clean pairs every single day and then pairs to sleep in every night. And then for socks, same thing. I want to make sure that I have clean socks every single day. So that's that and clean socks for every single day and then one pair of socks to sleep in. That's how I uh, usually do it. Okay, in my duffel bag also, I have a microfiber towel. It goes in this pouch, actually packs really nice. Um, in case I need it. Uh, there are actually some uh, campsites in uh, on the Inca Trail where you can take a shower, but it's cold. Um, for our teams, uh, we travel with trekking pals, we provide hot showers, so that's super nice. Um, that's why I have the towel. I have uh, wet wipes. And I usually, like if there are no showers, because um, when I did the Inca Trail first time, there were no showers. And second time, there were no showers. I would pack uh, body wipes so that I can use them to clean myself at the end of every uh, day hike. I have some uh, hand warmers. Haven't used them. Didn't really need them. Some plastic bags. And then I have this pouch from uh, Sea to Summit. And I basically just use it to separate dirty clothes from clean clothes. So everything that's dirty, socks, underwear, everything goes in there. This is a, a day pack, 20 liters from Sea to Summit. Um, it's very compact and I usually take it so that when we get to the site of Machu Picchu, we drop our bags and we go for turns in the Machu Picchu uh, city. They don't want you to take big bulky backpacks, so I would take this one and throw in some water and whatever it is that I need. And also on day three of the Ink Trail, uh, we usually get to camp and then we take a side hike and that side hike is probably like 40 minutes from camp. So when that happens, I don't want to drag my big backpacks. I would just take this one. I love this. This is one of my favorite pieces of gear. In my duffel bag, I also have some uh, painkillers, electrolytes. I also packed some uh, antibiotics just in case I get sick. Um, and I have some Tums and really all the medication that you would need throughout your adventure. If you are uh, thinking about taking Diamox to help you with high altitude sickness, that's something that you probably consider packing as well. I have sunglasses. I love these jewel bows, but I honestly, I don't think I'm going to wear them. Probably wear them towards the end of the trek just for photos. I used my vision. I use my vision glasses as my sunglasses and that works pretty well unless until it rains when it rains oh my gosh i can't see very well with my sunglasses it's a little bit annoying i have a hat a sun hat in case it's sunny this is another pouch with just a bunch of medication electrolytes by the way if you don't bring electrolytes with you from 
the US or whatever you're traveling from, you can buy electrolytes from uh, pharmacies in uh, Cusco. This is a brand that I was recommended and I really like it. This is what it looks like. When you go buy them from Cusco, uh, they sell it like this. You tell them how many of these uh, sachets you want and uh, it's pretty salty, but it's really good. And I also have some herbal uh, altitude medicine that you can also buy from the pharmacy. It's not Diamox, it's not acetazolamide. It's uh, more like a nutritional supplements that you can take and it helps with, they say it helps with high altitude sickness. I didn't take it this time, but I took it before. And uh, I also have this brand sent me these uh, uh, bio strips. They're supposed to have a lot of uh, uh, supplements also. So it works like this. I should probably take one right now. They sent them to me to try them and share my feedback. And I think I've been liking them. I've been taking them throughout my travels. It's just like this on your tongue. And that's that. They're supposed to have clean uh, ingredients and things like that. So that's what I have in my Ziploc bag. I also recommend that you pack some Ziploc bags with you just to keep things organized or if you have like wet clothes or stuff like that. I didn't do it this time, but uh, that's recommended. And then also, what do I have here? I have some feminine hygiene uh, products and things like that. But I also have um, insect repellents. This is a lotion because you might come across uh, mosquitoes on the ink trail. Um, it wasn't a, that big of a problem this trip. Honestly, every time I had the ink trail, it happened in November. I never had problem with mosquitoes, but I pack it with me just in case, because that's the last annoyance that you want while you are hiking. Um, in this pouch, I have just like all of my cables, extra batteries for GoPros, another portable charger. My uh, good portable charger, 20,000 20, milliamps. This is just 6,000 milliamps in case I need it batteries sd card holder all type of cables and all of these things go into my uh, duffel bag and i have my toiletry bag so toothbrush uh, toothpaste i pack deodorants i can't do without i have hand sanitizer i have floss i have a hairbrush mm -hmm. q-tips as well <laughs> You don't really need all of these things, but I'm trying to make the trip a bit more comfortable for me. So I pack things that, you know, are just comfortable. This whole pouch is not necessary, but here I have some mascara and I have moisturizer and I have lipstick and a sharpener. <laughs> there is actually a weight limit on how much you can uh, have your porters carry as, in, as 